Now the first step is to verify the game files. So make a right click on the game select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to try different launch options. So when you launch the game, when you click on play, here you can see launch with DirectX. You can try this. If that does not work, you can try launch with OpenGL. If that does not work, you can even launch in safe mode. So try each launch option and then check which one is working fine for you. Now the next step is to make a right click on the game and then go to properties over here and then go to the beta tab. Now over here you can see beta participation. Now you can select older version over here. In my case it's not there but in your case you will find multiple older version. So you can select older version and then you can try to once you select the older version over here, once you select any version over here, it will go through an update. It will download that file. Once the download is complete, you can launch the game and then check. So you can choose the beta version which works for you. So you can try one by one and check which one is working fine for you. Now the next step is to select beta participation to none. So if you have already selected over here, if you are already using the beta version, still you're facing the problem in that case you can select none over here and then again it will go through an update let the download complete and then launch the game next step is to go to steam settings and set beta participation to steam beta update now for this you can go to steam at the top left click on steam go to settings go to interface option over here and over here you can see right now no beta chosen so you can select this steam beta update and then this will restart Steam. So here you can see updating Steam. So let it complete. Now once the Steam is up and running, now you can launch the game and then you can check. Now still not working. In that case, if you have already selected Steam beta update, in that case you can set it to none. So go to Steam, then click on settings, interface, now if this is already set to Steam beta update, you can set it to no beta chosen and then restart Steam and this will again take some time and then you can check. Now once the Steam relaunches, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, rename or delete this config.cfg file. Now for this, go to file explorer, go to documents folder over here, open the game folder over here. Here you can see config.cfg. So if you want to create a backup, you can create a backup first. You can copy this and maybe you can paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup created, now you can make a right click and then you can rename this folder, uh, rename this file. Or you can even delete this. You can even delete this and you can launch the game. But all the saved settings will be lost and you already have a backup. Now the next step is to rename the save game folder. Now when you rename the save game folder, you will lose all the save game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So create a backup first. So go to the same location, go to documents. Here you can see the game folder, make a right click, copy this folder and then paste it to the desktop, create a backup. Now once you create a backup, now make a right click and then you can rename this. And then you can launch the game and then check. The game will start from scratch. Now the next step is to in mod manager disable mod not more disable mod one by one and then you can test. So launch the game. Now once you launch the game you can go to mod manager. Now over here if you see any mods over here uh, you can just disable the mods or you can uninstall the mods and then you can do it one by one and check if the game is working fine or not. If that does not work in that case uh, you can disable all the mods and then check. Outdated mods may be the problem so you can just check which mode is actually giving you a problem so you can disable it one by one and then or if that does not work disable all the mods and then you can check now the next step is to quit onedrive so if you have onedrive running over here uh, you can just make a right click on onedrive this is just an example make a right click on the onedrive and then hit exit 
quit one drive and then check next step is to run the game from the game installation folder now for this make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files this will take you to the game installation folder open the bin folder win64 and then here you can see the game exe file make a double click launch the game from here and then check if that does not work make a right click go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check still not working then this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game you can even try disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to now allow the game exe file to your windows security now for this open windows settings go to privacy and security now click on windows security click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app click on browse all apps go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder steam apps folder common folder game folder bin win64 select this exe file click on open type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app browse again open the game folder then select the game exe file click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added now once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you're using any third party antivirus like avast norton bitdefender mcafee whichever antivirus program you're using allow the game exe file to your antivirus program next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have md card go to md website i'm showing for nvidia make sure that you select your graphic card over here select your operating system and then click on find now on this page at the very top you will find the latest geforce game read driver whichever is the latest you can click on view and then you can click on download and once the download is complete you can run the exe file run this exe file click on yes to allow and then click on ok now click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next after the clean installation is done restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working md card users go to md web first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver restart your computer go to md website select your graphic card install the latest graphic card driver restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to roll back graphics driver so if the the latest one is not working on nvidia website uh, once you select your graphic card and operating system when you are on this page go to view more options view more version and then you can maybe roll back to the previous version so maybe 576.40 for me this is working fine 566.36 you can click on view download this file but when you go for installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then restart your computer and then launch the game uh, still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on the game select high performance over here now you can launch the game desktop users connect the display cable or hdmi cable to the dedicated graphic card slot not the intel slot not to the motherboard slot so connect the cable to the dedicated graphic card slot now if you disconnect all the external devices which you are not using disconnect all the additional usb adapter connected to the computer disconnect extra controller connected to the computer 
If you have any kind of virtual controller connected like Vjoy, etc., you can disable it or uninstall it. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then launch the game. Also, if you have any other overlay application running like Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have Nvidia app running, go to Nvidia app settings, turn off Nvidia overlay. Close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also, do not overclock. If you have overclocked, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI Afterburner, Reva Tuner, any kind of overclocking application running, close it. Also, if you have any third party application or services running, close it. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. So go to Windows settings, go to Windows update and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. Here you can see Visual Studio files. Scroll down, download this x86 and x64 version. Install both the file. Click on it. Run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well. Run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. And let the installation complete. Once installed, Restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. After the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, make a right click on the game, manage, uninstall. After the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive like D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.